Hi there, it's Jeff here with another video on microeconomics. This time, let's spend a few minutes thinking about the, the really key concept of dynamic efficiency. So that poses the obvious question, what is dynamic efficiency? Well, it's all about long-term growth and development, often driven by innovation. And dynamic efficiency refers to an ongoing iterative adaptation, improvement of products, goods and services, and also process innovation to help meet changing market demands, market conditions, and also the expectations of consumers. So essentially, it's the ability of a business, if they're dynamically efficient, to respond purposefully to market changes, to innovate, to improve what they offer over time so that the business can remain competitive. So while static dynamic, uh, static efficiency tends to refer to price and cost, dynamic efficiency tends to relate to the long run improvement and accessibility and performance of products. And the goal is to create sustainable growth and also value for the company and the various stakeholders. So if you think about the technology industry, for example, uh, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, uh, the Internet of Things, all of these things have or have uh, the potential uh, to revolutionise the way that businesses operate. They connect with customers, business to business operations. And in theory, that should lead to long run improvements in efficiency and productivity. In healthcare, for example, we've seen dramatic changes, advances in electronic health records, telemedicine, wearable uh, health advices and related apps. And then hopefully, again, uh, dynamic efficiency helps to streamline process, reduce errors, uh, improve information and therefore improve patient outcomes. And in renewables, we're seeing second, third generation uh, renewables, the rise of solar, wind power, but making improvements in battery technology, improvements in the efficiency of the of the renewable energy system. So it's not just about scale economies, it's about reliability of energy supplies, so on and so forth. In all of these sectors, technology, healthcare, renewables, dynamic efficiency is really key. And now there are two types of innovation one can look at, product and process. So innovation is a major, super important driver of dynamic efficiency. So when businesses in pharmaceuticals or in telecoms invest in research and development and eventually introduce new products and services, that can improve their competitive advantage, lower their unit costs and improve the quality of what they offer to consumers. A good example is the iPhone, which I think was developed 17 years ago, almost this week. The emergence of the iPhone, the fact famous launch by Steve Jobs, over time has revolutionised the smartphone sector. Uh, it's fundamentally changed the way that people interact with technology. It's morphed and sparked an entire industry of manufacturing, of tablets, of smartwatches, and a wide variety of other innovative tech products, including, of course, um, new, new versions of apps. So in many ways, the iPhone was a, a completely game-changing moment, and for economists, a great example of dynamic efficiency. Process innovation is the improvement of existing production processes or the development of new ones designed to improve efficiency and productivity. Let me just give you a couple of examples. Lean manufacturing, which focuses on eliminating waste and streamlining manufacturing processes to improve efficiency. Just obviously an example would be in mass manufacturing of semiconductor chips or electric vehicles, for example. And just-in-time production is a production system innovative system. I think Toyota was involved in this and certainly Nissan, where companies produce products only when there is demand rather than stockpiling inventories. So products arrive at the assembly point just in time for insertion and as part of completion of products. So just in time production or JIT in theory helps to reduce waste and improve efficiency. When one thinks about dynamic efficiency, the economist Joseph Schumpeter figures large. So Schumpeter was an Austrian-American economist. He was also a sociologist. Probably has a claim to be one of the, the most influential economists of the 20th century. Now, Schumpeter made many contributions to economics, but one of them was the theory of creative destruction. This is the idea that new ideas, innovation, technological change 
can drive out to the old, old technologies, old products, but they replace them with new ones in theory and hopefully leading to economic growth and progress. Although, of course, uh, that can lead in the short term to structural unemployment, particularly when there's factor immobility. So Schumpeter argued that creative destruction was the essential fact about capitalism. The capitalist machine, if you like the free market innovation machine, constantly creates new products and markets that have the potential to sweep away the old. So whenever you get a question on dynamic efficiency, think Schumpeter and think creative destruction. And this has spawned huge numbers of academic papers about where does innovation come from? So associate dynamic efficiency with innovation. But what are the main sources? What are the main springboards for innovation? Does it come from stronger legal protection of property rights in order for entrepreneurs to realise the gains from their research? Does it come from having high levels of skilled inward migration and a more diverse labour force? Innovation might come from investment in human capital to improve the skills, the experiences and the aptitudes of the workforce. It may come from changes in cultural factors, including attitudes to taking risk. The key role of universities and science parks should be uh, thought about here, along with the role of government, for example, tax incentives to R&D. To what extent is innovation the product of an increase in competition or contestability within markets linked to more open global trade in goods and services. Uh, What about financial sector innovation, including things like green bonds? And the economist Mariana Mazzucato has argued that the state, the government, can be entrepreneurial, particularly when it comes to the early stage funding, seed funding of public goods. So she wrote a very famous book on the role of the entrepreneurial state. Well, innovation is all all about product and process change, and that, at its heart, is what we mean by dynamic efficiency. Now, when you get a question in the exam on efficiency, please, please do try and bring in dynamic efficiency into your argument. It's a super important concept, and I hope this video has helped you in some small way. Take care. Thanks for joining in. See you soon.